Greetings, this is a demonstration of <clears throat> an attempt to use technology to leverage education. And part of education, at least in California, is, re is uh, testing. And if you can't measure, if you can't measure what you're managing, you're not managing anything. So what I've done is I've created a form, a Google form, that prompts the students uh, uh, we'll say good will hunting and good will hunting has finished reading um, let's see what does he finish reading animal farm so he's finished reading animal farm <clears throat> or he's read something else doesn't matter he's going to create a question and I'm just going to steal one um, what do the hens in the novel represent from uh, Animal Farm? Copy that, paste. And since this is a representation, they represent something. So uh, they recognize and understand their significance of various figurative language, imagery, allegory, symbolism. I'd say symbolism is probably a pretty good answer, though we can argue this for hours, maybe over a... Uh, beverage one day. How difficult is this question? Oh, it's pretty easy if you've read the darn book. Uh, and if you know the answer, write it below. Well, we'll say it's the, um, the illiterate masses of Russia. The illiterate masses of Soviet Russia. And let's see, what did they say? The answer was peasant, farming peasants, yes. Uh, and we click Submit. Now, Goodwill Hunting has just submitted a question to the database, and the database looks something like this. Well, what does it look like? We'll have to go take a look. Um, and that would be here. And I go to Documents, open the form. It's a spreadsheet, actually. Um, and that spreadsheet will look like this. There's my spreadsheet, and here's the last answer, Goodwill Hunting, and there's the answer, what is the name of the text. Now, the questions are not in order um, in the spreadsheet, doesn't make it any less useful. Uh, but we can now take a look at some of these. We should be able to um, see the summary, show the summary, and we've created a graph. Here's the graph. <clears throat> Two of these questions have come from Animal Farm, one from Romeo and Juliet. Um, here is the questions themselves. Here are the standards that have been applied, and we can see those. So 33% of the 33% have been connected to 3.7, and ideally. A student would create questions, or teachers would create questions for all of the standards. How difficult is the question, and etc. So here's a basic graph. Um, now, unfortunately, the question, the summary is not connected to the answers, but we have a pretty good idea of who's doing, of what has been done, and then we just click on see complete responses, and we see what Goodwill Hunting has done, the question he has written. Uh, the difficulty of the question, etc. So as we as we work with Goodwill Hunting, we'll see how difficult the questions are that he's created, and the questions and the quality of those questions as well. Uh, so that should start us off. I hope um, this has been published. I'm pretty sure I've published this. Uh, publish as a web page. Yeah. Um, republish and all sheets and there it is it's viewable right here let me go ahead and copy this sheet and I'll put it on my web page control C and republish and that should close this and we'll go ahead and pop that onto uh, this here let's say add an activity no we're gonna add a resource link to a file or website <clears throat> and uh, spreadsheet a 
responses. And here's the link. Here is the link. Link it. Paste it. Target it. New window. And click OK. That should about do it. Oh, look at this. It's got it there too. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Show advanced force download. No, I don't want that. Uh, okay, save and display. Let's see what happens. It works. All right, so thanks for watching. And teachers, uh, feel free to uh, contact me and or um, create your own. Moodle's free. And Google Docs and Google Forms are free, so there's only one reason not to do it. And that's the reason you don't know how to do it, but if you look at other videos on YouTube, you'll find out that uh, using computers to support education is far easier than you may have thought. Thanks for watching, and happy computing.